Hey YouTube, Jada here with a new video and today I'm going to do the 100 questions tag. So it's 100 questions that I'm supposed to be answering but I decided to change it a little bit and just to answer 20 to 30 questions, maybe like 25 questions because I didn't want my video to be like 20 minutes long. Like I didn't want you guys to be sitting here watching me answer questions for 20 minutes. I wanted to keep it under 10 minutes so... This is a tag video, so I'm kind of tagging everybody on YouTube to answer these questions. And I don't know who started this 100 questions tag, but I'm going to be listing all the tag questions below. So if you want to do this tag, you can go ahead and do it. So let's begin. Number one, do you sleep with your closet doors open or closed? Closed. Because you don't know what's in that closet. Number two. Do you take the shampoos and conditioner bottles from your hotel? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Who doesn't do that? Like, I thought everyone did that. I take like the soap, especially if it's that face soap. I take the soap, the lotion. I don't really take the shampoo and conditioner because I don't like it on my hair. Like, my hair is a different entity than my body. So I'm not going to use just everything. I mean, I think it's really going overboard if people take like the towels and like the pillowcases and the sheets and the TV and the cable like that's just that's just doing the most but take the yeah I take the soap what the heck number seven would you rather be attacked by a big bear or a swarm of bees a bear a bear is cooler anyway like who wants to go around saying man I got attacked by a swarm of bees and I survived I would rather go around saying, man, I got attacked by a big black bear and I survived. And plus I kind of want to do, you know, like how they say if you like, if you like look big, then like if you like raise your hands like this and you start like waving them around and then if you like look, make yourself look bigger, then you'll like get out of a bear attack or something. I kind of want to try that. Number nine, do you always smile for pictures? No. I don't think everyone does. I mean, sometimes I don't want my picture taken. Like, what the heck? So I'm gonna just stand there with like a mean mug on or something. But yeah, I smile in most of my pictures. I mean, it just depends on the picture that's being taken. Number 17, what size is your bed? So I have a twin size bed and it's not bad. I mean, I'm thankful that I have a bed, but I really want like a king size bed, you know, once I get into my, my own place, I'm probably going to get either a king size bed or a queen because I really want a big bed so like I can lay out on and just like relax. What is your song of the week? So my song of the week this week is Gorilla by Bruno Mars. Number 20, do you still watch cartoons? Heck yeah, I watch cartoons like um, I watch anime. Caillou, Spongebob, but Spongebob is getting a little bit iffy. It's been getting iffy since probably about the fifth season. And I was reading this post on Tumblr and it was like, um, it said the original writer of Spongebob, he, it said the original writer of Spongebob, he resigned after the first movie, you know, the, the first Spongebob movie, because he said that all, like everything after the first movie he thought would be overkill. So he resigned. So he pretty much did the first, the second, and the third season of Spongebob in the movie. He might have did like a little bit of the fourth season, you know, like pre-recorded episodes. But other than that, they he that was the only thing that the original writer did. So when they changed the writers, that's when it started going downhill. Like, I see it, man. It, it's not as good. Like, my favorite episodes are in the third season, you know, the, uh, the chocolate episode where Spongebob and Patrick are trying to become entrepreneurs and they're selling chocolate. That's my favorite episode. My, my all-time favorite episode is the Wet Painters episode when um, Spongebob and Patrick uh, have to paint Mr. Krabs' house and he got like all the stuff, like all the, um, all the stuff in the basement. He, they had to paint the basement and he had a ton of knickknacks on the basement and they ended up blowing a bubble of paint, you know, because the paint was supposedly permanent. That's, that's my favorite episode. Number 24, what do you dip a chicken nugget in? Barbecue sauce? Barbecue sauce? <laughs> Barbecue sauce or sweet and sour sauce? If I'm at Wendy's. Or ketchup. Really whatever that's around. 
What is your favorite food? My favorite food is ice cream and chocolate. Number 26. What movies could you watch over and over and still love? Okay, I can watch the Spongebob movie over and over again. The first Spongebob movie over and over again. I can watch Punch Drunk Love over and over again. That's that movie, but oh my goodness, it's such a good movie. I could watch that movie so many times. Um, I can watch the Watchmen movie, the adaption of Watchmen, uh, the novel, I mean, the graphic novel. I can watch that movie a lot. I wouldn't say over and over again and not get tired of, but I can say I can definitely watch that movie a lot. And I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting, I know I'm forgetting, so I know I'm leaving out a movie. Oh, Ride Along. I can watch Ride Along so many times. You know that movie with Ice Cube and um, Kevin Hart? That um, Ice Cube is the cop and Kevin Hart is the dude that's trying to like marry the cop's sister. So he goes on the ride along to prove himself. And I can watch that movie so many times, mainly because I love Ice Cube's character, James. Like, I could watch that movie so many times. So I can watch it's Ride Along, the split. Uh, the, so it's Ride Along, Punch Drunk Love, the SpongeBob SquarePants movie, and Watchmen. I'd say Watchmen. Were you ever a boy or girl scout? Yeah, I was a boy scout for about 13 years, got all the badges. No, I'm just playing. I was a girl scout for, I was a girl scout from kindergarten to the end of sixth grade because uh, what I realized is that my troop wasn't all that good. Like we didn't even do anything. And it was like, it's not like we didn't do anything, Oh yeah, it was we didn't do anything. It was that I was trying to do things. Like I was trying to fundraise and get like all these stuff together so we can go on like trips and stuff and like complete badges. And they were just pretty much sitting around talking and laughing like it was a party. And me, I was trying to do things. I mean, I'm just that type of person. So I ended up just leaving the group. I don't know what happened to them. Did I say number 28? Did I say the number? Number 30. When was the last time you wrote a letter to someone on paper? The last time I wrote a letter to someone was, it was a thank you letter to my friend Wiley's mom because she made me cookies. Okay, so Wiley was making cookies. No, Wiley's mom was making cookies because they were working on like a project or something at Wiley's house. And I was like, oh, Wiley, come on, save me some cookies. And then Wiley was being on bogus and she was like, I'll save you whatever's left or something. And then, so she was about to bring me the stale cookies, and then Wiley's mom, because I know, I know her mom, and then she, Wiley's mom was like, you're going to give Jada those cookies, the old stale cookies, and then she made me like a batch of cookies just for me, so I was like, and I ate them, man, her cookies was good too, and so I, I was, I'm very thankful for them, and I, I was thankful, and I'm very thankful for them, and so I wrote her a letter, uh, just a thank you note, just saying, just thanks for the cookies, like thanks for thinking of me. And, and not giving me no stale cookies, Wiley. Number 42. Which are better, Legos or Lincoln Logs? Legos. I mean, like, Lincoln Logs, you can only build, like, a log house. I mean, you can only build, like, a log cabin. Legos, you can do so much more with. I mean, I don't, I don't even think I've played with Lincoln Logs. Legos are just better. Number... Number 48, do you sing in the shower? Yes, like, I take, that's probably why my showers end up being so long. It's because I'm singing. Yeah, because I know, I know if I sing in the shower, it's going to elongate the time that I'm in the shower. Because I tend to sing like, I tend to sing like whole songs or something while I'm in the shower. So that, yeah. I definitely sing in the shower. Number 54. Ever eat a per pierogi? A pierogi? No, I can't eat what I, I don't eat what I can't spell. Nah, <laughs> that was, oh my goodness. 
the perfect comeback to that is like when somebody says, "No, I don't eat what I can't spell," then you say, you say to them, "Well, I guess you can spell a lot of things." Number fifty-eight. Have you ever had a deja vu feeling? Yeah, I think that, I think I have those like a lot. Like as I'm doing something, I feel like, man, I've done this before, but. It might have been something, you know, like, I just did this last week, or I just did this, did this three months ago. Deja vu feeling maybe, like, I, deja vu, like, I, oh, I could have did this in a past life or something. I've probably, I've, I've had some of those. Yeah, I've, I know I had, like, a ton of feelings where I'm like, man, this happened already. Or, like, we did this already. Number 64. Walmart, Target, or Kmart. Target. I would say Target because to me Target is like the classier of both of those. I mean of all three of those. Like it's like Target and then it's like Target, then Kmart, and then Walmart. Walmart is like not classy at all. Like I would go to Target because Target is just like I think it's up it's more like higher class. Like cause Walmart man, you know how sometimes Walmart be like Walmart be rough. Number 65. Nike or Adidas? Adidas for soccer. Nike for everything else. So I think Adidas has a bigger selection for soccer gear and Nike is just better for everything else. Number 84. Can you hold your breath without holding your nose? What is that? Just like holding your holding your breath? Yeah. Can some people not do that? Number 86. DJ or band at my future wedding? DJ. Yeah, I say DJ. Yeah. Yeah, I say a DJ too, because the DJ gives you more selection, and I probably won't be dancing to the music a band can play because the band is only limited to things, to like certain songs. Uh, I'd say a DJ. Number 92. Do you want to get married? Yeah. Number 98. What's your favorite color? Alright, thanks guys for watching this 100 question tag video and I will see you guys in my next video.